Here's Aaron again, long time no see, but welcome back. Today I have quite of a question for you guys. So I need a decision which is about this smartwatch, which is a new candidate in the hacking variants. It has some really good features, but also some cons and I would like you to decide if I should still keep working on it or not. So let's take a closer look at it so you can make an image yourself about it and then you can maybe write in the comments if you like or don't like it or if you would like to see more about it or not. Let's begin. So I have now these three smartwatches here. It's for one the Pine Time and it's with the open back. It's the P8 Hackable smartwatch, which is yeah, flash able without even opening or doing any hardware work. And it's the new candidate, the so-called SG2. To the features, I have some yeah, printed website here, so we can for once see yeah, the high price, that's one con, but if we look into the text uh, here on the top, we see it's the SG2 and it has an NRF52840 chip. And it had all, has also an AMOLED 390 by 390 HD display. And it is indeed exactly that. You can see right now the watch is in an always on mode. So the screen does only turn off if you lay it down somewhere and wait for 10 minutes. So it knows it isn't weird. But if you have it on your arm, it will always be on. And if you touch it, it will go into the on mode and yeah, you have the, the normal kind of menu you have on every smartwatch that is out there. So the, the standard, I would call it. You have a heart rate sensor and you have a yeah, step counter, of course. You have two hardware buttons and the full screen touchscreen. And also, what is there? It also got the wireless charging. So you have this charging pad, which is a real QI charging pad. And in there is this coil, this copper winding coil. You maybe are able to see it like that. And it directly goes to the battery. And the battery is, yeah, Apart from the um, PCB, only connected via ground and 4.2 volt, volt, and the is a charging cable is also on it. Yeah, so you could even charge the watch via a smartphone that um, supports the power share mode, so the uh, wireless power share. So you are able to charge the smartwatch without even yeah, connecting any cables to it, which is quite nice. Also, it got a vibration motor inside and yeah, that's so far for the outside hardware. We know if we have it like that, but I also got one here opened and if we look inside of it, like that. We see for once the NRF52840. We have here one desolder chip, which is this one. It's a 16 megabyte external SPI flash. And also we have this little chip here, which is a font chip, which is also two megabyte in size. So we have theoretically um, 19 megabytes of flash inside this device. Yeah, and of course the display, which is very nice to have. And as you see, this is very dodgy. Uh, this is my development variant right now. 
and if you not have seen it already here we have the close one and if the focus works we will see that it has four screws and if we unscrew them we even got a small slide thing to put a screwdriver in here it's a bit hard to see we have this little yeah, hole where we can put a screwdriver in and turn it around a little bit there is a waterproof seal but it will go away if you pull it slowly so you can open it easily but then you still have to yeah take some more things apart to get to the SVD connection that is here on the PCB this one here so you first have to yeah deconstruct the whole watch to get to the SVD yeah pins so that is another bad thing but it's possible to open the watch up connect to the SVD port via an ST link or any other programmer and yeah burn a bootloader so you can flash it without opening and then you can yeah put it back together and use it like it is brand new as this watch and yeah my reverse engineering of the watch was quite successful so i will plug in the power supply uh, the yeah power bank to it and if you look at it you can see that the yeah firmware from the p8 the atc watch firmware if you compare it <laughs> this and the other one is working fine on the watch so like this and yeah you can see how small the image is compared to the P8. This is because this is already the 240 by 240 pixel area from the P8 watch. And you still have the corners left to fill, as you can see now clearly. And yeah, put your content there. It works quite good it is not uh, optimized for it so here for example we have a touchscreen demo so full touchscreen is working and also we have yeah, the power bank now turned off <laughs> so we can restart um, it is working inside the arduino ide and i am using the adafruit library for the nrf chips but I removed the free RTOS system of it because this one draws way too much power for my taste. And here now comes the question if anybody or multiple persons are interested in me getting a good looking and good running firmware for it and also to work further on the Adafruit IDE library. So we have real Arduino on it. I mean, it's, it, it is already ready Arduino, but it's um, not perfect. The bootloader needs to be created and so on. So please write in the comments if you want to have more about it. And maybe I will even put a Twitter um, link in the description where you can make your decision there so it's easier to see if there's interest okay i hope we can get a decision about it and i know if there's any interest in it so if i should keep my time on that or on any other watch so the super nice features are there it's just a bit more work to get into it okay Till next time, bye.